All right, guys, what's up? It is May 21st. Like how I figured that out. Anyways, I got a little bit of a tutorial, a small little one. It's uh, since I do the partnered images here and the screenshots and whatnot, I decided to show you guys how to do that real quick. This is not be applied to anything, but it's basically just how to cut any image out of its background using Photoshop and put it on whatever background you'd like. Um, that can get into more detail with doing color correction and stuff if you want it to look realistic, but the easiest application is if you just want to put it on a solid solid color background for something like a YouTube thumbnail here. So this is what we're going to do here. Um, I got, this is 1080 by 720, it's a new project here, new window, it's transparent background, that's how I always start, alright? Um, now you can start off with a solid color as your background, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go like this, I have yellow selected, I use bright colors, we're going to use yellow <coughs> today. Then you're going to do um, a layer, new layer, you know, you can use the shortcut if you want. I'm just going to name, actually, I, don't, I usually don't name them for this, so I'll just leave it like that. So we got a new layer on top. We can turn off this so, if you want. But this is what we're going to do. Make sure layer 2 is selected. You're going to take your image, which I already have copied. I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, this is of me and my friend. Um, and uh, I'm actually wearing the same shirt. Oh, what do you know? Anyways, <laughs> here we go. So what we're going to do, there's a couple things to do. I just want to cut me and her out, right? And we're going to put on the background. Um, this is the only picture I could find right off the top of my head real quick. Um, so, that would work. All my other pictures are already cut out like this. So, here we go. Anyways, you're going to use the, uh, whatever this is called, magic wand. Yeah, there we go. You're going to, usually I start with this, all right? I'm going to click like this, and I'm going to see, okay, look, that looks like it cut out pretty well. You're going to click in places it's going to kind of cut out around where, the, where it matches the colors. Now, see this cut off her foot and my foot. This is all cut off on the whole area here, so we're not going to want to do that. But when you find something like this, where it looks like it cut it out fine, it went around the outline, you're going to just click delete. Let's see what that did. And then you're going to press control D, that's deselect. Now you can see it cut out around my head good. You can go like this. I don't like that one. This one, there we go. And I would just do this really quickly. See, I don't like that. That's, that's touching my hand there. I would just find little places like this just to speed up the process a little bit. See, like that one there. And now from here, that's pretty much where it looks like that's all it's going to let me do here. Actually, maybe right in there. And now you can see the yellow through it. That's why I use a background on there, because I can see yellow through and know that that's where I need to be. Also, another little trick um, is you can go like this. And what I do is I do right-click Blending Options. And I'm going to click uh, Outer Glow. All right. Now, what I do for my Outer Glow settings, I'm going to change it to Opacity 100%, meaning no opacity at all. We're going to put it to White. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. The spread and the size is going to vary depending on the image. And I'm going to want this to be just about like that. Now, if you notice, it shows all these little dots where you can see where there's something there, but you can't really see it well. So I'm going to take the eraser tool for those. I'm going to go like this. Now that's just a little tip, see how it makes it all go away. That's how you can tell if you've got leftovers in there. Um, then, when I do that, I'm going to show you how to get up and close to all the rest of these images here. Now I'm just doing this really quick. Um, you know, There's other ways to do this, and you don't even have to do that. I'm just showing you how to do that, see it, and then you just know that there's nothing else there because there's no white there. So, now we're going to try and use the pen tool. Now this takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I'm going to show you how to use it the best I can here in a short amount of time. Usually if I'm going to use the pen tool on something like this, I'm going to zoom way in. So look at my shoulder and everything. It's a little bit rough, but from zoomed out, you can't really see that. So we're going to start right here, right? We're going to want to cut down my whole entire side here and cut out all this extra stuff. So we're going to start right here where it stopped. And I'd say that's about zoomed in enough. We're going to take the pen tool. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to start like this right here because we're going to have to circle this whole thing like this, all right? So I'm going to start way off and I'm going to bring it in and bring it right to the point where I want to start here, right? Now I'm going to follow my elbow. Now what you can do is just single click. In the beginning, this is probably the best way to do it. Just at any high points, you're just going to want to follow and trace the outside of everything that uh, you want to keep. You're going to trace the outside. Now as you get a little bit better, I can show you in a second when there's a good example of it, um, you're going to want to actually use the pen tool and what it's really, really capable of. But I'm going to show you this in just a minute here. We're going to scroll down. Okay, right about here. Now I can click like this. Now it's going to be okay, but if I turn it, see this? If you Okay, let me show you how it is. If you turn it like this, it's going to make the loop, okay? Depending on where this center ball is, the one that I don't have selected, if you, if you stretch it like this, it's going to make it turn 
on the axis point of where that is. If we stretch it in closer like this, it's going to make it turn on where the axis point of it is there. So if you want to turn from the middle, you're going to stretch it like this. See, I'm stretching it this way. I'm going to stretch it a little bit, and then you're going to turn it. So right there, I have it follow the pants there. And then, now see, this is another issue here. See how it cups out like that? I'm going to press Control z and undo that twice here because I had it stretched far. So it's going to come out and make a nice loop. It's going to make it smooth loop. So what I'm going to want to do is keep it small like this and kind of turn it like this and then go like this and see how that worked out like that. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll try and get a better example in a second. But let me just do this really quick. You're just going to follow all these outlines. And for something like the YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, thumbnail, it doesn't really need to be that specific and that well done, especially when it's zoomed out. Um, because they're only going to see it in the small image anyway, so I can cut stuff off as I'm doing right now with my shoe and everything. I'm kind of being a little bit careless here. Now I'm going to show you with the end of my shoe how to do it better. Now I'm going to click right here on the opposite side, and see that's going to cut it off. Now if I just turn it like this, see how it turns the edge that's not working? Or what if I turn it like this? We're going to stretch this out to the middle. Now we're going to turn it, see how it turns it and shapes it perfectly there? Now you're going to want to play with it a little bit to make it fit. And right about there looks perfect to me. Now I can move it in. There we go, like that. And now this is going to come out. Now see how it did this like this? That's the only issue there. That's for something like this, you know, it's it's not going to work out as well. So usually when that happens, this is just a shortcut. I just go like this, loop it around. I'm going to trace this whole outline because I want to get rid of all this stuff here. We're going to end it. And I know there is a way to get around that, um, to get around what I just said there where it, where it comes out and just has to make a loop and smooth loop, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So here we go. We're going to right click here. Inside this selection, we're going to click Make Selection. Feather Radius is going to be zero for something like this. You're going to make it a new selection, and you're going to click OK. Now you get the little dancing ants here. That's good. Now you're going to do is press Delete. It gets rid of all that. You're going to press Control D or App Command D, and um, see how it cut out the whole side right there? Now, here's another interesting thing. If you look right here, see how that comes way out like that? The outline of my shoulder shouldn't be like that. So that's why I have the glow on, because I know I need to take the eraser or eraser, go like this. You can see that? You can't see what I erased, but I erased something, obviously. Now this up here, same thing. You're going to want to just clean this up. And for something like the YouTube background here, you know, I'm just going to do it real quick. It doesn't need to be very specific and anything like that. So this is how we go here. And, um... Uh, we can cut out the whole rest of the underside here, but um, I'm just going to, you know, that's this that's the basic concept here, and um, that's pretty much how you do it. And then you just do that all the way around the whole outside, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, the pen tool, like I said, kind of can be a pain in the neck sometimes if you don't know how to use it well, um, but practice makes perfect, so just take some images you got on your computer and cut them out of your backgrounds just for the heck of it, even if you're not going to use it for anything, like I'm not going to use this for anything but the video here. Um, and then uh, that's all you need to do. So eventually you get the hang of it, play around with it, try and figure it out and get used to it, and uh, and then you'll be good to go. It's really not that hard. It's really fun. This tool is very, very useful. And uh, if you know how to use it, you can use it and apply it to a lot of different things. Now see right there how I kind of went off? Don't worry about it. If you want to, you can press Control Z. That's undo, or uh, or Command Z and Command Option Z. Also um, undoes backwards because if you do once, that's just going to do a step, or it's going to undo. If you do it Command Option Z, it's going to um, uh, do a step backwards. So um, or Control Alt Z. Same difference on a PC. So we're going to go like this. Make selection. Hit Enter. Hit Delete, and you're good to go. And you're going to just zoom out, and uh, that's pretty much going to be the background there. So that's that's how it's all getting cut out. It's really not that difficult. Hope this was helpful. Hope it worked out for you guys, and I'll see you guys in a week.